From UFOs to ghost and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. There's more than one way to make a gallon of gasoline. When the price of petroleum products rises or the supply dwindles, formerly expensive extraction methods suddenly make financial sense. One of these processes is called hydraulic fracturing or fracking. Oil extractors use fracking to increase a well's output. Here's how it works. After a well is drilled, a chemically treated fluid, usually water, is pumped into the rock under high pressure. This pressure fractures the rock, releasing natural gas and oil. Propping agents such as sand or ceramic beads are added to keep the fractures open. This technique dates back to the 1940s, and companies routinely use fracking to maximize the output of numerous wells. In the United States, an estimated 90% of the country's natural gas comes from wells using this process. With such a history, it would seem fracking is an accepted tool of the oil industry, yet it remains highly controversial. Several government studies have found that despite environmental concerns, fracking does not pose a threat. But others don't just think hydraulic fracturing is dangerous. They think the government knows these dangers and has helped to cover up the risk. Here's where it gets crazy. It's no secret that drilling for oil creates environmental risk, and oil spills can wreak disaster. Critics of fracking maintain that the process pollutes local water tables with harmful chemicals such as methanol and benzene. There are several legal cases involving these allegations, such as the case of Barish versus Southwestern Energy Company. The plaintiffs allege that fracking has contaminated the area. Numerous other cases raise similar accusations, yet industry consultants often claim this type of contamination is due to the improper sealing of the well, which takes place before fracking begins. According to the New York Times, environmentalists and the industry may define fracking differently. Industry experts believe environmentalists misunderstand the process, but opponents of fracking claim the industry's experts are intentionally misleading consumers about the environmental impact of fracking. So what does the government think? In 2004, the EPA claimed the injection of hydraulic fracturing fluids into coal bed methane wells posed little or no threat to the purity of underground water. Yet in 2011, a member of the EPA raised concerns about this study. Ben Grumbles oversaw the EPA's Office of Water in 2004. He claims the study's safety findings are exaggerated and that it didn't claim all fracking was safe. It also, in his view, didn't justify exempting fracking fluids from the drinking water protection of laws like the Clean Water Act and the Safe Drinking Water Act. So why are these fluids from fracking exempted? In 2005, the Energy Policy Act exempted all fracking fluids other than diesel in a move known as the Halliburton loophole to critics. Those who believe the government is covering up the risk of fracking point to this exemption as evidence of their claims. So what are the effects of fracking and why is the practice so controversial? To some, this technology could help America break its addiction to foreign oil and won't damage the environment when properly handled. However, to critics, fracking is much more dangerous than business and governments would have us believe. Is the government safely ensuring a productive oil industry and a healthy environment at the same time, or is there something they don't want you to know?